that this airport authority will apparently go to no end to protect to secure the millionaire. de facto monopoly exclusive rights, which, right. which the FBA says you cannot do that. You cannot give one FBO exclusive, exclusive rights. No, but they've, they've worked really hard to uh, put artificial criteria, what they call criteria, to be a, f a fuel source. And that criteria is ridiculous because the criteria in, in, involves the ability to fuel 747s, okay? The guy that wants to take care of GA, I don't know a lot of GA pilots outside of John Travolta that have wide-body airplanes. <laughs> you know, GA generally, you're going to have a Cessna, Bonanza, you know, something small. You're generally not going to pull up there in a 747 and, outside of John Travolta. I think it's a 707 for John. Mm -hmm. But outside of that... All she needs is a truck, a fuel truck, and it's not a multi-million dollar investment for a fuel truck. But they've done that. They said, okay, here's our new criteria for fuel, period. That's it. That's We're going to set the standard really high. you got to do 747s or you can't get involved, which which de facto gives Millionaire a monopoly. Well, you know, and we keep throwing the Millionaire name around. I, I will say this, though. They uh, do a good job. They do a good job. Yeah. Uh, millionaire, uh, is I've, all the fuel I've bought the last year is been through millionaire and the yeah. service is impeccable and uh, yeah they do a good job. I have no complaints with them I don't say. I don't know them I've, I've, I've talked to them just a little bit and they seem they seem like nice people I don't know anything about them I don't know why this has come to, to this I'm not blaming millionaire I, I think I think the agreements with the Umerical Airport Authority well, I mean, something if, something went wrong with them if you could be the only auto parts store in town it would be very city, it'd if the city be, gave you monopoly you'd yeah. Oh, the, it, too. it would I be mean, tremendously expensive for parts. It would be, and <laughs> and I would stop the delivery service. You'd have to come get them, and my hours would change. In fact, we may even close on Mondays. That <laughs> 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 yeah, would be a great deal. And unfortunately, I think that's what the airport authority has given to Millionaire, is exclusivity. And Absolutely. It, it just. Yeah. It just. And it's the airport authority. I'm not blaming Millionaire for it. I, although no, maybe I should. Because I, I, I have no idea what, what workings went on behind the scenes. But whatever it is, it just smacks of of something improper. Yeah, that's the ironic thing is uh, is I think everybody at the airport is pretty happy with Millionaire as far as uh, service and. Uh, no, they seem uh, like nice they, folks. I've I, 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 you. I've been did in, a good job. Yeah. I've been into the new FBO. It's beautiful. Uh, they, they, got, they got the restaurant there. It's yep. uh, pretty nice. Oh, it is. It's it's nice. But the situation is horrible. I don't like the way that it came about. The situation is bad. Now, I I actually called the uh, the Marine base, the uh, PR department. Now, you know, I had I, I, I sat down with breakfast the other day with Colonel Cook. Do you know that? Uh, I, I heard Marine that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, small town. Uh, but he he was at a table at the uh, Good Morning Yuma with the Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, and, and it's funny, when, when someone like the colonel sits down at a table, no one else sits around him because they don't know what to say to him. Uh, I sat next to him <laughs> and, and asked him specifically what's going on at the airfield. And and I, and I knew some people from the board were there, the Yuma County Airport Authority Board, and they were going, they just put their heads down. <laughs> they, weren't in, they weren't at the table. They were, they were at adjoining tables like, oh, no. Because they don't want me to get involved, I don't think. I don't think they do. But I asked him about about particularly the situation you have, where you have an airplane on the airfield, and you're not allowed to drive to it anymore. Only if you own a hangar, the haves and the have-nots. A high-level tenant. High-level tenants. With a, and, I, now, and that's not my verbiage. That's that's their verbiage. That's Craig Williams' verbiage. What do you know what I call them the other day, Andy? Uh, uh, you call them fat cats. Fat cats. Yeah, I call them fat cats. Craig's, Craig's uh, verbiage is high-level tenant. And now he's using VIPs. And now at, the using, at the last meeting, he used VIPs. Oh, he changed it from high-level tenant to VIPs? Yeah. Okay. I call them fat cats still, although I know a lot of them, and they're great guys. Don't get me wrong. I love those guys. They're, they're great guys. Well, but, they're but, off the field, I guess you know. I mean, well, they're, when you they're say, not going to be able to drive their airplanes either. Well, so. uh, and I talked to uh, the colonel about that, and I said, you know, I said, Colonel, just, just so you know, you're getting blamed for all the policies of Yuma County Airport Authority. And, and, of course, the, the military does not want to get involved, you know, in that kind of stuff. And, he, and, he, and, 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 and I think the colonel handles it tremendously. He says, what policies are those? <laughs> you know, because he's definitely not going to. Uh, and I know that. I know he's not going to write a policy, and he's not going to dictate a policy. He's not going to do it. They're the Marine base. You know, they're not going to get involved in it. But, but I, he said, what policies are those? And I told him, I said, well, the policy where you've got the haves and the haves not. Some people can drive on the airfield and some can't. And he, he just looked at me and says, I don't approve that policy. 
I don't think that sounds right. Exactly. I don't think that sounds right. And I said, well, what policy would you like? He says, well, no I'm, POVs. He says, I'm responsible for the perimeter of the airfield, defensing that goes around the airfield. And with the F-35 coming in and the secret uh, situation of parts of the F-35, I do not believe that uh, any vehicle should be allowed on the airfield. And, that, and that's his stand. And I well, said, and at the, he, he, he uh, gave a presentation at the last that's airport authority meeting. I wasn't there, but I understood. He came across as a very credible, honest man. I do I like him, and there's nothing... He was a big hit. Everybody there's, liked him. There's, there's nothing stealth or mystery mystery, nope. like the airport authority would want you to believe at times. They always they blame it, and I told the colonel this. I said, you know, everything. every time the, current, the, the airport authority comes up with a, with a, a policy that's, that's unfavorable, they blame it on you guys. You know that? And, of course, he won't even comment. He just looks at me, but but he's, but but because he can't, you know. Right. He can't get himself engaged or involved in it. He's got to stay above that. I did my best to, to, to try to get him in, in, in there, but he's a professional, good man. And and I haven't met one at the air, ba air base yet that has. That's why when I know the nonsense comes out of the Uma Air Corps Airport Authority, it's not really coming from the military. It's not. Those guys aren't like that. No, he came across as very credible and yeah. uh, and fair and, and, and basically... Uh, my possible complaint, my Part 16 complaint that I was mm. writing up, was against the discrimination of having oh, some people can drive on the airport in their POV, but some other privately owned vehicle. You, but then some people can't. The, you, you know, based on you know, uh, do you rent a hangar from us? All this stuff. Wait, wait, wait! You just you just jumped in your your complaint. You have a complaint. What, I was, what, what, I was, what, I was writing one up. A Part 16 complaint. What is a Part Six? Uh, oh, to the FAA. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, what is a Part 16? That's against some kind of regulation. Well, basically, it? Uh, it says that the airport sponsor, in this case, the uh, Yuma County Airport Authority, is not living up to their assurances that they've made to FAA in order to continue to operate an airport. Mm -hmm. The Part Part 16 complaints happen a lot. That's the process uh, you go through. To so, so you've made formal complaints against our Yuma Airport? No, I haven't. No, okay. and. Um, not yet. I was going to. Well, why but, don't now, you? but now Colonel Cook negated that. But that doesn't as, matter. As long I mean, as you're that, being fair about that, it, wait, wait, I can't make uh, a complaint. Uh, uh, yes, you can. Because let me, if, 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 wait, if, let me, let me tell you. If all the POV, uh, POVs are kicked Mitch, off. Mitch, Mitch, make, lodge a complaint. Look, the POVs are still allowed on because I think it got extended until December 1st, right? That's correct. December 1st. So between now and December 1st, you are still excluded. You are still you're treated right, like, right. you're still treated like a subclass citizen. Make the complaint. These guys need a file with the FAA. Well, you we, know, guards have made a Part 16 complaint, too. Well, I think everyone should make one. Until these guys straighten out their act and start becoming transparent, start becoming, you know, reasonable and easy to work with. File one. F please. In fact, you and